Welcome back to another video, ladies and gentlemen. Josh here from Nantua Fishing Ventures. I am accompanied today by two of my best buddies. I got Hunter. How's it going? And I got Meru all over there, drilling some holes. Uh, we got a fun video today. This is my favorite time of the year, March Madness. And we are tip up fishing for big pike out here in Manitoba. And uh, looking forward to it. We're just drilling some holes, getting set up around this big creek right here. We got some holes drilled out there. Hunter's gonna go put some baits in over there. We got a variety of baits we will show you as we get more set up. And in this video, we're gonna be talking about something important in Manitoba here, and that is AIS, which are aquatic invasive species. What are they? How can we prevent them from being spread to further lakes in Manitoba? And I'm just gonna basically give you guys a little rundown, some knowledge and some things you should do to help stop the spread so us recreational anglers can have lots of fishing opportunity for the future. So. Without further ado, we're gonna get some more tip up set up. We're gonna get some baits in the water and we're gonna hopefully get on some big pike today. So stay tuned and if you're new here, please subscribe. We'll see you soon. Okay, we got a double drilled hole here. Hunter, what are we uh what are we using? We're we using some tip-ups. Tip-ups. Got some big smelly bait oh, yeah. to attract these pike. And how deep are we fishing? We're probably in, I bet you close to five to seven feet. These pike like to cruise shallow areas, especially this time of year. And just behind us we got all these weed edges and cattails. They're hopefully gonna just be cruising up and down. Gonna be seeing this bait. It's a nice staging fashion. area for them. We gotta kinda try to catch them in a couple different depths. Like out there, that'll be about 10 feet. And uh, so we'll try different areas. Different areas, different baits for sure. Like there's, we've got about, oh, I bet you six, six different types of bait. Six different types of bait. We got smelts, we got some herring, we got some other stuff we'll show you after. But one of the nice things too is uh, ice fishing is you can have two lines. So whether you're fishing walleye with a rattle bait and then you have a dead stick with a minnow, here we can each have two tip ups. So we'll have six tip ups spread out in this little area here. And uh, once the first flag goes off, it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be a race well, to see who can get fun. there first. So hopefully we don't drop the camera. And uh, yeah, we're gonna set some more up and then get back to it. So we got some smelts here, probably about four or five inches. Those are gonna be absolutely wicked. Meru, say hi. Hey it's folks. It's your first time on the camera for today's episode. For today's episode. This is how he's kind of rigging it up, just like that. Bury one of the hooks. Looks and so that good to way, me. if they come from the front, they'll hit it back here. If they come from the back, wait it there. Nice. Sweet. Let's go set her up. Yeah. All right, guys. So what I like to do here for setting these tip-ups is I'll tighten up the slack right up to the hole. There's no slack on the line right now. And I'll go up about a foot. And then from here, I'm just going to follow the line down without actually reeling any in. That way, I know my bait's going to be a foot off bottom. And I slowly so, uh, put it as down. As you're going down. As I'm going down, I'm reeling, exactly. Get the play go. There we go, we got a set tip up. So Perfect. hopefully a pipe will come and uh, Munch it. And munch that. Flex. Oh. Got it. Let it run Feel good, does it feel good? I don't know. Oh, well, it's not bad. That's uh, pulling hard. I, oh, see. I think it's it's a smaller one, definitely. Yeah. No one brought the bump board. No one brought the. No, eh? <laughs> no we're really? so excited. It's the first play. <laughs> I, got I, got, I got those <laughs> Here it is. Here it is. Here we go. Hey, Ado boy. All right. There you go. There we are. All in the mouth, guys. Perfect. Munched it. I don't remember. I need some pliers here, Hunter. Huh, it's, it's like we had a system. All right, guys, so the main thing- Oh my gosh, that flag went up too. That was the other fish I was saying. This one was big, man, this one was big. It's not turning. This one was huge if it, uh, yeah. if it was a fish. Go ahead. It's not turning though, so I don't know. Oh, it will though. This is a big bait. 
Dang, that's okay. Oh, that's fine. Two flags in a couple minutes. Yeah, that's that's exactly what you want. Yeah. Especially for uh, We just drilled, morning. I drilled a couple holes inside here to look around with the live scope. And as, uh, oh my gosh, I'm out of breath. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I saw a big fish come at this bait on this flag. I'm like, oh, it, it might hit it. But then the far flag went up. We went, Meru caught his low 20s. And yeah, then I looked back 20s. and uh, this flag was up and didn't get it this time, but uh, nothing was stung. Didn't hook him at nope. all. So. He should be back. All right, so as you guys saw from that, it was a little bit rushed, but we got a flag here. Mayru got his first ever tip up pike, so congrats to Mayru. Little 20 incher. And then as that was happening, a flag popped up on the uh, backside, a little bit in the deeper water. We didn't get it, but that is okay, so we're just re rigging now. Um, so, yeah, we're gonna talk about a little bit of uh, AIS. And if you know what AIS is, it stands for Aquatic Invasive Species. And it's actually something that's becoming more and more familiar here in Manitoba. Um, essentially what an AIS species is, is it's something that enters our body of water that is not native here, meaning it's not natural, it comes in and it hurts the ecosystem. So the most common example here in Manitoba, especially in like Lake Winnipeg, the Red River, are zebra mussels. They're not natural here and they can harm our bodies of water. And why you should care about AIS is it can affect our favorite bodies of water. You know, you have that honey hole for black crappie, that awesome little pond for perch, or you fish in Lake Winnipeg for walleye. These AIS species can affect overall fish population. It can affect spawning and we just don't want that, right? A very common acronym is SARS, Species at Risk. And these are specific species that are endangered from aquatic invasive species. A few examples could be uh, buffalo carp, silver chub, and maple leaf mussels. Um, these pose a great risk from AAS species coming in and hurting them in their natural environments. So um, those are a, a few kind of key things to kind of know about AIS. Um, just to let you guys know too, I'm gonna have a bunch of links in my description if you wanna learn more, you know, spread more awareness about this because it's a very, you know, serious issue that is recreational anglers, we should all know and be aware about so we can help protect um, our beloved bodies of water here in Manitoba for future generations. So we just missed a, a flag, we had another one go up. So we're seeing fish, we're getting some flags, we might start moving a little bit, but until then, we're gonna keep at her. I don't have the big camera right now, but that's a big fish. This is our bait right here, about a foot and a half off, and it looks like he's gonna come in and crush it. Hunter, maybe just, uh, yeah, just like take a peek ski. Hunter's right here. Oh man, he's coming, he's coming, he's coming, he's coming. Dude, this is gonna be incredible. Okay, we're gonna go over the flag now. Everyone see that? He's just on the other side of it now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my gosh. Got him? Yeah. Oh my gosh, that is oh. the... No! Ow. Really? Oh! That was so cool. Oh. Okay, just dropping another bait down. We're gonna look at it on the live scope, but... Oh, dude, the fish is still there. Yeah. The fish is still there. You're dropping right on him. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. He's turning away. He turned away. He's coming. He's coming for you. He's coming for you. That's him right there. Leave it there. That's the bait. That's the fish. Leave it, leave it, leave, leave it. it. Oh, I can bite. Just, he just tapped it. He's looking at it. Yeah. He's turning around. Should I give it a jig? Lift it. No, no, no. It. Yeah, maybe oh, a tap. There's two, no, no. There's he's, two. He's on it. He's, he's just, on? He's just waiting to he's, he's swimming away. He's swimming away a bit. Oh my gosh. Yeah, look at this. Look at my line. He's on. Okay, whenever you're, whenever you're ready. Whenever you're ready. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? What the lines oh, go? Oh, oh, no, no, it's oh. just line popping. Okay, thank gosh. Oh, no, it popped on the... No. Are you kidding Oh my me? God. No. I get next fish. Not once, but twice. No. Oh Heart my break. God, Heart Hunter, break. you're just feeding them. Dude, what are you, he's still there. There's another one there. That's a different one there. Get another, get another bait. Get another bait. Get another bait. You just, oh I my god. I had him. <gasps> Might turn around. Might, yeah. All right, anyway, ladies and gents. So we are, uh, we, uh, yeah, <laughs> we're fishing tip up pike with a live scope. So it happened once where I saw the live scope pike come in and, and bite Hunter. Um, I only had it on my iPhone, so you just see a little bit of an overlay of that. But then I went, got the big camera, set up recording, and then we saw another one coming in. So I started recording on the uh, live soap and the big camera, and the pike bit it and was just taking line out of his hand. And I just 
Maybe he didn't wait as long as we should have, but uh, when he had it, he had on it for a few seconds, he set the hook and it popped off, which is completely fine. But we're in like this little eight foot kind of bowl here. Everything else kind of goes up and it's shallow. It's like three to four feet. Um, but we're marking like, I can turn the scope and, and see a fish at least every 50 feet. And a couple times now we've had him come in right underneath us as we're sitting here and uh, pretty freaking cool. So we might move some more tip ups around this general area, kind of towards like the opening of this little uh, creek here and uh, see if that does the trick, but super cool. I've never, never seen that before. So uh, first time for that. Hold on, we got a flag. Hold on, we got a flag. Oh yeah. Go nice and slow. It is spinning, that is good. Oh, jeez. On? That's, a, that's a decent. Feeling good? Feeling good? It's feeling okay. I'm waiting for that run, but as of right now, it's, it's it looks, okay. It looks good. I saw it run. It was going nuts. Yeah. No, it's just coming up backwards. It's a decent. Hey, that's still a nice one. Get her up! Woo! Nice! <laughs> Look at that! Out of there boy! We go. All right! All right! We got one. Yeah. Waited a long time. I'm for guessing that. 28. You're guessing 28? 28. Oh! Oh! oh. Just kissing. Oh! It. Just that look at a that! Look fantastic! At that. <laughs> That's perfect. Yes. That's an awesome fish. That's all right. 28 inches. Only going back. Perfect. Woo. All right. Kicked off. Nice. Let's get another one. Good job, Hunter. boy. Biggest pike of the day, Hunter, 28 inches, wicked fish. It was a little bit of a lull there. We moved some tip-ups around. But while he's setting up uh, another tip-up, rebaiting it, I'm gonna tell you guys a little bit more about AIS. Um, so the biggest thing as anglers, fishermen, fisherwomen, we can do to help protect our bodies water that we love to fish is clean, drain, dry. So in the summer, if you're fishing on a boat, clean your live wells, clean your anchor ropes, take them to decontamination stations within the province after you're fishing AIS bodies of water. For me, I've kind of just, Put it into my routine. Um, when I get home after a fishing trip, I charge my live scope, I charge my ion, and I open up all my tackle trays to let them dry for a few reasons. I have a lot of expensive hooks, and I'm sure you do too. I don't want them to rust, right? And also, by fishing an AAS body of water, it decontaminates them, so I'm not spreading that to other fisheries. I fish Lake Winnipeg and the Red River a ton and they are home to unfortunately a lot of zebra mussels which are very invasive and let's be honest I'm not using the same rattle baits on Lake Winnipeg that I am on uh, bodies of water in White Shell and Opaming. Just it's a completely different fishery, completely different area of fishing so I use a lot smaller stuff. So what I've decided to do is I have an AAS tackle box separate and then I have a non AS tackle box separate because I do a lot of fishing once again in White Shell, in Nopaming, the Duck Mountains, Rhiney Mountain National Park. Those are a lot of lakes in those areas that have no aquatic invasive species. And I'm gonna do my part to make sure that I don't spread them. And there's a lot of misconceptions around aquatic invasive species and clean, drain, dry. Some people don't think they have the time to do it or they don't know how to do it or they think it's an inconvenience. It doesn't take that long. It's like brushing your teeth. Make it a part of your routine. When you get home from the fishing trip, Take all your stuff, put it in your garage, downstairs, just let it dry. Your rods, your reels, your line, your tackle tray, it's gonna help limit the spread of AIS. This is only a benefit for us as recreational anglers because you love fishing certain bodies of water and when they stay healthy, you have more fun. If invasive species get in there and hurt that population, well, it's gonna affect your fishing, right? So these little things that we do as anglers can make a huge difference in the long-term impacts of these bodies of water. It looks like Hunter is done. From seven to what depth did you put this one in? Ah, uh, that's probably around seven feet. All right. Seven feet. Awesome. I think the next flag, it's tackle. Oh, so yeah. it's fair game to anyone. Little piece of advice to you guys. If you're doing any uh, tip-up fishing, bring a football. It kind of, you know, passes the time. You have some fun for that next flag to go off. It's a lot of waiting. It is a lot, a lot of waiting. Of waiting. <laughs> Okay, we got a flag up over here. This is as fast as Josh goes. Yeah, this is this is my speed. Oh, lots of holes. There it goes. On. Nice. Oh, uh, doesn't feel big. That's at at the bottom of the hole. Yeah. Tip up pike, not big, I may be able to pop this out. Just like that, barbless hooks in Manitoba. There we go, not huge. Let's, uh, let's see that measuring board, Hunter. Oh. Come on, I, I gotta know, I All gotta right. know for my own 
personal being 20, 23 and a half inches. That's right. They will be bigger. <laughs> awesome. Cool. And nice off she goes. Off. And that is just on a Predator rig, guys, that we sell at Sports Headquarters. Northland, it's got a couple little blades, so if you're fishing any current, it'll actually flutter in, causing some flash and some action. Gonna rig her up with some more smelts. And there we go, now everyone's got a fish, no one's skunked. No one's skunked. Let's That's go, boys. Sweet. That's awesome. So what I always do is I have one treble hook on the left side and one on the right side. That way there's two hooks on each side. So if it hits it from here, there's a higher chance of it getting these two. If it hits from the back end, I have it there. So there's a little smelt there. Another quick tip, guys. We're uh, fishing where there's a lot of snowmobilers. So what we do is, as you can see behind me, we have a shovel. We have something at every hole where our flag is. So if someone's coming through, they see where it is and uh, they're not gonna run over it and you know, cost you some money for some tip ups. Also keeps everyone safe that way. So gonna get this bad boy all rigged up, grab the live scope, make sure it's at the proper depth and let's get another fish. We got a flag. Whenever you go. Whenever you're ready. Nice. On? Nice. Yep. Oh yeah. Come on. Don't worry. We're playing football. And flag pops off. Woo! Everyone's out of breath. There you nice. go. Another pike. Got another one. Did we just move this one? We Did just we just move this one? What five minutes ago? Yeah. I was like, hey, we gotta move this. We haven't had a flag in 10 minutes. Mayru drill a hole. Mayru drill the hole. We play football. I'm out of breath. And now we have a pike. Oh, come on, buddy. Yes. Another one for Hunter. Another one. Not a Giants. No. But breaks up the afternoon football fun. A small, small pike day. So, you know, send that one off. Get released. Beautiful there colors. Fist bump. Right. And actually, Mayru, what, what are we, what did you notice? So I noticed when he pulled that out of the hole, um, something came off either the pike's mouth or the lure, and uh, we got a little. I'm not sure what it is here. It looks like a, a, almost a, a lamprey. Of some it's sort. got like a, a spiky mouth on there. It's hard to say what it is, but anyways, that just goes to show the importance of checking your gear because I mean, this no could have ended up stuck in the spool or anything like that. So. So AIS, you yeah, wanna AIS. clean your gear, let that dry off. Obviously that doesn't get spread to another body of water because I'm not sure what that is. I think it's a, it could be a baby lamprey. Could be, who knows. I've heard they're in the Winnipeg River system which is where we're fishing today. So yeah, it's not going back in the water. So yeah, cool, good fish. Awesome, nice. Let's grab let's another bait. To it. Yeah, let's go. Another fish for Hunter. Not as big as the other one he caught, but that's oh. okay. Um, it's kind of getting more towards the afternoon here, so oh, I'm getting some blood on me. Gonna set up this tip up, maybe move a few more because once again, got the ADHD, you gotta always be doing something. <laughs> uh, but yeah, there's gonna be a chance for you guys to win some gift cards. Now, all you gotta do is leave a comment down below. What's your AIS system look like? Are you changing out your tackle boxes for specific bodies of water? Are you letting it dry? Do you have any ideas on it? And this includes Major and Hunter here, they can. What do you think? Uh, do, you, do the whole let your stuff dry? Oh yeah, all it? these uh, all these tip ups. Once I'm done using them, I, I string them all out and and, uh, and let them dry in the in the garage with the heater on, or, or even bring them in the house and just put them by a register. Hey. So it's it's just a quick and easy way to to help our our ecosystem. Yeah, out here, so it's 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 not a lot. It's not a lot of work. So um, basically, yeah, we're gonna keep fishing here for a few more hours. But leave a comment down below, guys, and then there's gonna be a link. Click on the link, you basically put in your name and uh, you can win some gift cards. Who doesn't want to win free stuff? Uh, free stuff's great. Free stuff is great. Oh, so we're gonna get this thing <laughs> set up and then uh, yeah, hopefully we'll see you when you catch another fish. Okay, we were just finishing up that little segment. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's going, it's going, it's going. Really lift up slow, lift up oh slow. Oh my God. Oh, it's, oh, it's oh, huge. Just just take it. It's huge. Oh, it's huge. Really? Yeah. Okay. Here it goes, here it goes. Okay, give him some line, give him some line. Here he comes, here he comes. Center there, yeah. center there. He's going, he's going, he's going. Ooh, this is your one. <laughs> this was also moved not too long ago. We just finished with the other fish that Hunter caught. We look over and this flag is at a very, very popular hole today. We caught a few out of this and it is definitely taking some line. How you, how you feeling? How you feeling? Nervous. I Can't too. let the nerves get to you though. Nope, nope. Oh, dude, it is. Yeah, this is a good one. When they take multiple runs like that, that's a, it's a good one. 
Just gotta go slow. Be 33 inches. <laughs> oh man. Oh, here he is. He's big. Oh, oh my god! Oh, Meru! Look it up! Oh my uh, gosh! Oh. I'll go get the stuff. Meru! <laughs> Me oh my gosh! Dude! That's a big look girl. Look at that fish! Hold it up a bit more. Oh my gosh! <laughs> look at that. This is what we come that out of here for. Beast. Here. That's, That's a, I'm not even sure she's gonna fit. No, I don't think so. It's probably gonna go Let's more. See. Oh yeah. It is yeah, that's 36 inches, so, so that's about two 30, inches fast, 38, 38 inches. inches. Oh, Hold it up again, that. bud. Thick girl. Oh, Big smile. Beautiful. Wow. beautiful fish. Man. Awesome. That is awesome. Okay, release that for another angler to catch. Someone that can is come back and catch her. Oh my gosh, oh, it fills up that hole, man. That's a 10 inch hole right there. Oh my gosh. Look at the oh, colors oh, on her, a little bit of teal in there. Oh, that's in, dude, look, look at the size, look at the size of the fish. tail. Give her a little push. Oh, oh there she good. goes. She's Let's solid. go. Attaboy. Awesome. Attaboy. Incredible. Dude, beautiful. Incredible. Let's oh, go. Man. Incredible. That was so All fun. Right. Let's set that tip up. Let's go. Get Let's one. go. More. <laughs> Woo. That was incredible. So, playing some football, the one flag with 30 yards behind us here goes off. Little fish, we're getting it set up, talking more about AAS and what you should do to help prevent, spread it. And then all of a sudden we look behind and this flag is up and then they do a little tackle match. Hunter almost. I almost knocked him down. I think I got it on video too. Yeah. But what happened? So Meru went to go lift up the tip up, but it was actually jammed, right? Yeah, like, yeah you could like, It wasn't spinning was jammed. It, and I was trying to lift it and I thought it was yeah. frozen. Yeah. But it was just the weight of the huge fish. Yeah, <laughs> but it, it was, was the but I think something was locked on it. Yeah, yeah. So, the spool something, wasn't spinning. Correct. Yeah, yeah there's yeah. something that locked up on it. We got to check that out. But, but he got it up, and I was oh, yeah. like, "Oh, this is yeah. big!" Oh, yeah. So no, it, uh, that, those are the type of fish that if your equipment isn't working right, that'll that'll break that'll your equipment. Hurt. That'll hurt. That'll yeah. break. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, that's not good for the fish neither. No, 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 no. no, no. no. So that oh. definitely uh, just kind of made made this day even that much better. We're gonna play some more football, oh, and yeah. if it's that happens again, trick. Yeah. 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 the more it's football playing, never the more no. fish. No, exactly. <laughs> awesome. Okay, well, um, I'm QB this time. You QB? Yeah. All right. All right. <laughs> okay, everything is all packed up inside the truck. Overall successful day, boys. Come on, right. show go. some love. No hooks in day. hands. No. no. Well, I, nah, I, I, you I, got I, one. Just about. Just about. Yeah. Just about. Oh, I, I gotta stand on the side, boys. Um, but yeah, it was overall good day. It started off quite slow. Had a bunch of different bait out. Smelt kind of, I think we smelt was, smelt was probably the, we are all the sun. We are all sunburned oh, yeah, too now that I'm looking today. at us. Yeah. Should have brought some sunscreen, but um, yeah, it was a great day. Hopefully you guys learned a little bit about AIS, aquatic invasive species. You don't want them to spread because they're going to hurt recreational anglers. It's going to hurt yep. days like this. If yep. we bring zebra mussels into here or something, it could completely it. destroy the fishery. So For sure. you got to do your part. Clean, drain, dry, think about the species at risk right now, and leave a comment down below. Give me your thoughts and you're entered to win some awesome gift cards. That's all you gotta do. Leave a comment, I'm gonna respond back to them. You get entered, you can win some stuff. Once again, we like free stuff. Oh yes. So, if you are new here, please make sure you like and subscribe and we'll catch you guys in the next video. You guys wanna say anything? Oh, this was a good day. Good awesome day. day. Good hey, people. Team effort on the AAS stuff. Everyone yes. plays a big yeah. part in it. Yeah. Do your part. Absolutely. One person helps everyone else for future fishing. So we will see you guys on the next video. Peace.